Yeah, I would do that in the Marine sometimes too. That's why I was I was an airplane mechanic, but I was really only good at the basic servicing functions we would do all the time. Anytime we had to like do some real major repair, I was a flashlight holder basically. So <laughs> yeah, and I was, dude, I was late so many times in the Marines. Oh man, it was crazy. I got in trouble uh, for it when I was working with the MPs for a little while. I got temporary assigned over there for six months. I like volunteered for it. And then I was like, what did I do? Um, nah. But yeah, they like kicked me out and put me back. And as I was going back to my unit, I don't know if I ever told you this story, but I go back to my unit. And this is after I'd already been in the Corps for like two years. I went on an aircraft carrier and like I went all around the world. So I get back to my unit and that's the air wing guys. And they, the Sergeant major, whoever it was, looks at the thing they wrote in my permanent record and he just rips it out. He's like, fuck these guys. He's like, <laughs> like you've been all the way around the world. They've never left North Carolina. Like get out of here. It was so funny. I was like, yeah, dude. He's like, you're one of me, aren't you? But yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. But um, yeah, I, I'm definitely aware of that trait in myself. So <laughs> yeah, but that would, that's what makes us a genius at other things. Like, uh, like being able to, look at these patterns and look at things from a spiritual perspective is a gift. Now, now like the, we were talking about the 16 personalities or astrology and, and to a large degree, there is a very deterministic uh, structure to this incarnation. Like, but there's still your level of consciousness. There's still your, your level of spirit to how you contextualize things. And that is the free will aspect and while things will play out in a very deterministic kind of pattern, um, it, it, it's it, it's going to play out for you based on what frequency, what level of consciousness, what's your context. Like that is the free will, because if you, if you change the way you look at something, you're going to rearrange how you're like how we talked about last time with the you know, the analogy of the which is kind of literal in a sense, uh, the uh iron filings are ranging to the uh to the, the magnetic field based on their charges based on the charge of the field and if you change the field you change the patterns blah 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 blah, blah. so it, while this sky clock or like the the 16 personality things there's truth to it there is a deterministic kind of element like uh there's certain things that are not going to change like i'm not going to grow a foot taller like for instance like uh but not if you don't want to brandon grew an inch <laughs> Or 0.33 Rogans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so the, the like the consciousness is going to determine where in the this this realm you're going to be, and what's when you turn left instead of right, and uh, to say something to, versus not to say something, and on it, the infinite amount of variables is going to be, depend on how you're looking at something. Like that is your free will. Uh, I think we were also t- talking about this recently like like they say angels or demons or animals don't have free will is because they're always the same context the same spirit the same energy the same vibration so they don't have the free will like the human has in this realm to change the way they look at something to look at it from the most demonic like serial killer kind of stuff all the way up to the highest christ level uh, of of uh, consciousness and based on that vibration, how you're looking at things is how when this, you know, the balls are pinging around in this big ping pong ball, whatever, what was what that pinball? Everything's pinging around and hitting everything. Pinballs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for, uh, I don't know, that might not make sense, but, but mm-hmm. the point being is uh, uh, like based on your level of consciousness of your context of your spiritual energy is that free will, which you always have. You could always kind of look at it like the, like the watcher watching a movie awareness watching the movie because that that aspect of you that's watching like the emotions and watching me talk right now and watching uh uh this room right now like all these sensory kind of things there's something watching that and it, it can look at something and say hey i missed the mark um and you can change your level of consciousness and the, the, the person who gave it best to everyone even though it's completely ignored was christ when he talks about the lord's prayer uh, it's actually funny because I bookmarked this because I thought I maybe we talk about this, but I don't even think I'd need to look at the passage. But but it's it's the Lord's prayer. He's saying don't. He said don't mindlessly mouth fucking words. And then what what does everyone do? They mindlessly mouth the Lord's prayer. <laughs> like no, it, it's it's the exactly. Lord's prayer is creating a contextual energy 
to surrender to God. Uh, Father, uh, let, uh, let your will be done. Let heaven as it is, you know, heaven, the higher energies, the higher the energy, the more expansive it becomes. Like, as I talked about earlier, like, it, like, let your will be done. It, you're creating a context and surrendering to God to give you grace to be able to see things differently. Because that's what grace basically is to be able to see things from a higher perspective, which will change how you're going to act and think so and such, such and such as this realm is playing out as the sky clock is doing its thing, as you're wiring and your friends wiring and everybody, the collective's doing its thing and all this infinite amount of things are playing out how, where your level of consciousness is, is going to determine how you navigate through it. And to me, that's not debatable. It should be fucking obvious. It should be, be honest. Like, like you didn't think to go to the refrigerator, like that thought just arose. You didn't like all this stuff is just happening. Like it do, do, do. And people, you know, the atheistic uh, worldview is like, Oh, well, we're just all like meat robots. And it's like, like I said, back to being half truths, there's truth in that, but you do have a spirit consciousness that all this stuff is animating out of like manifesting out of and based on your your level of consciousness is going to uh arrange you your ego mind body organism is going to be arranged based on the totality of all that ever existed so the way your your free will is literally to uh, like how you look at something which is going to change the whole outcome will it not so like and christ told them this is how you pray prayer is like and i like david r hawkins you would say you, you shouldn't pray you should try to become the prayer and that basically is if you look at the lord's prayer as an overall tapestry as an overall context and not as a bunch of words like strung out like in a line if you're if you create that context you're opening the door for grace to raise your level of consciousness so mic drop 